Okay, again, this is the 14th podcast made by Reverend Joseph A. Jensen Sr. I'm here to because I'm ever since June uh, the 9th, 2019. Um, God gave me God's message, and God's message is that He wants to build heaven on earth. That's and um, this is it. This is almost five years later. And God's ready to do it. Now, whether you're ready to do it is a different story. This is what you got to do. The only place God's coins going to be available is through God's Live Ministry website at the web store. I've already been to Africa. I've already been to Cairo. I've already been to Jordan. And I've already been to Joel Steen's church in Houston, Texas, the largest church in the United States, and another large church in Anderson, South Carolina, comparable in size to Joel's church. Maybe a little bit bigger, however, that church has not got the attendance, anywhere close to the attendance that Joel Steen has. Joel Steen's church sees 15,000 people, seats 15,000 people, three time, three services every Sunday morning, 45,000 people. He's always filled up. There's almost no seats available. A lot of people are sitting in the aisles or on the stairs or standing up in the back. So he has no problem with filling a his church he's a great man God thinks so too now here's the point you gotta get God's coin the whole world's gonna get God's coin the marriage's gonna be first the way you're gonna get God's coin is a free exchange one dollar for one God's coin it's where you're gonna purchase God's coins for one dollar God's gonna sell uh, you God's coin to God's coin starting out and then it actually is many more he's going to give you three uh, two God's coins for free in other words you're going to still pay two dollars and the reason you're paying two dollars is so that I have a receipt a dated receipt on the day you purchase that God's coin because every God's coin is dated to be used within 20 years Used or or lose. Use it or lose it. No other conditions. Use it or lose it. Party, invest, invent, build your own home, build your own businesses. uh, Do everything. Everybody in the family will get God's coin. From the newborn baby to the oldest person in the household, whether the person is even related in the household, doesn't matter. It's the household. Those who are 18 will receive a free iPhone during that time or a a smartphone anyway. The phone choice will be of the banks. The banks will issue a phone and a representative of that phone company will be there to set up that phone with voice ID, face ID, fingerprint identification, and grip identification. Once they're done setting up the ID, they'll hand it to the bank, and the bank will, every 18-year-old will receive that phone, or an older, and when they get that, uh, get it, they'll hand that open phone to the bank, and they'll put all the bank, for, um, banking information for every uh, God's coin account in the family, which everybody in the household, including the newborn to the oldest person, will have to have a God's coin account. Because this is a start where everybody in the world, all nine billion people in the world, plus all future generations, will have God's coins accounts. Yes, we're in competition with Bitcoin. Yes, we're in competition with every currency in the world. This is the end of time as you know it. 
in the time not to destroy the world, but to, because my God wants to build heaven on earth. You have no choice. My God wants to build heaven on earth, and and uh, there, are, the God and the God, the same God that lives in you. More than likely, well, I won't say more than likely. I don't know how many, but many do not want this reunion between human beings and and um, God, simply because we have been doing our will. We've been doing whatever we want and we've been allowing. We've been allowing killing. We've been allowing abortion. We've been allowing the criminals and people to do this and we have been doing it ourselves. We have totally ignored God. Even when we say we have God, this past Christmas when I went to uh, the churches, the one in Anderson, South Carolina and Lakewood, both churches were on holiday vacation. Now, opposite, I'm a Christian and a Pentecostal Christian, but it's always said to be look, the day will come when the Lord will come and only God knows it. That's written in the Bible, in Matthew, it's written in Mark. And it's all, you know, it, it's like said it was gonna, God was going to come in like a thief in the night. It didn't say Jesus was going to come in the thief in the night. It says because God only knows the day and the time when they, uh, when they come back. However, this is God in me. God lives in everybody. This is in God's message. This is God's message is if in Psalms 139 you can read search me and know me O God my God for thou knows everything from my uprising to my downsetting he knows everything about me He's put, he surrounds me and then puts his hand on top of me where can I hide from the Lord if I take the wings of the morning I go to the farthest parts of the sea Lo, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, lo, thou God, God art there. Now those, that tells you right there. David didn't realize that God lived, but he knew he was, he's right there giving you a big hug. He knew that he's right there all your life. But the understanding, he says, God actually knows you through every thought. He knows your dreams. God's inside us, and you want to know how God talks? By your imagination. Anything, everything that you dreams, your imagination, your hopes, your desires, that's God's will. But we're being pulled aside by our work, by our business, by our friends, by our churches. Everybody has who wants to say, I was a crane upper for 35 years. Nobody came between me and my levers but God. But I can't even pull a lever unless God pulls a lever or pushes a button first. The synapses of the brain, God is the power of life that's within all of us. I cater to every religion, mainly Right now, the Muslims. The Muslims are listening, and I am wa wa Waush Wasir. I am God's, Allah's messenger. I'm a minister of God, a minister of Allah, and a messenger of God. The message is God's here. You're going to get, God's going to make have his will and make, create heaven on earth, whether you want it or whether God, the God inside you wants it. Because who's going to receive, uh, uh, who's not going to take free money? All of you will receive more money than you can ever fathom. Here's the point. 
when you go to my website right now, this second, open the God website. It's called God's Living Ministry. God's Living Ministry is spelled uh, and God's message in one sentence. Listen to me. Make it in one sentence. Make it in a small case. God's Living Ministry, G-O-D-S-L-I-B-I-N-G, M-I-N-I-S-T-R-Y, G-O-D-S-M-E-S-S-A-G-E.com. That's God's Living Ministry, God's Message.com. Link it all together, the whole sentence. God's Living Ministry, God's Message.com. Don't put anything in between it and spell it exactly like it said. When you go to that website, you can go to the web store. Purchase two God's coins in America, USA, for $2. For $2, those God's coins, purchase of many God's. You can purchase my books. Uh, for, the book is for $39.99. Another one's $29.99. God's, uh, any book I have, you can pur purchase the book dollar for dollar, and but you'll get um, a God's coin per dollar spent. So you might as well get a book, anything you want out of the web store. Whether it's pre-ordering books or whatever, at least you're getting a, it's not a donation. You are purchasing God's coin. A way to purchase God's coin. So you, you need to get every book and everything I have on in the store as you are collecting God's coin. Collect as many God's coin as you can. But the two God's coin that you have is fully refundable right afterwards. Right afterwards. You can collect it. The two God's coin, uh, the uh, two dollars back in a refund, immediately it'll be charged. But what did you just do? First off, when you ask for that, your card number came to me. I have you. I know who you are. You used your hands, your feet, and your mouth. When God came to me on June 9th, in 2021, He came to me, saying, "Joe, I have no hands." I have no hands to help you or help anybody or stop anybody. I have no feet to run save you from a fire or to, or to run go put a fire out. I have no mouth to call 911. That mo 10 minutes later I was ordained by the ULC church and became the hands and feet and mouth of God and been that way since the last for the last five years. You in turn will be, be, once you give your credit card to buy the God's coin, free God's coin, basically. It's free to you anyway. You said you're gonna give $2 and you're gonna get it back, but I have your identity, so even if you got a refund, you're still gonna get the benefits of the God's coin because they're free. Because on on November the, the 17th, the day after, the, the elections on the, on the 16th, November the 16th, 2024, the day after the presidential elections, on the same website, God's coin will not be free. God's coin will cost $50,000 a piece. Meaning that day, from that day, be made available to you $50,000 per God's coin, $100,000. A hundred thousand dollars will be available to you the day after um, the president's election. This is going to cause a run on the bank. Everybody's going to want to go, but they need to go and cash in everything they have, because every split second that somebody buys a God's coin for fifty thousand dollars. The economy goes goes down, and what choice do they have? God's coin is not available on the market. It's not going available anywhere but through my website. Once I get this started this month, before the end of this month, it's July fifteenth, the year uh, two thousand twenty-four. Right now, before the end of this month, I will. 
put this in motion, my store will be open and you'll be able to purchase a God's coin. But I'm not sticking around. I have plans to go straight to Cairo just as soon as my plane tickets come through. Right now my travel agent, Selena, who lives in Giza, is uh, trying to acquire me the cheapest tickets I got. I can afford it at this moment. I have no money at this moment. But I will be taking and, and making the, uh, the trip to, to Cairo just as soon as I get those tickets, which will be within 30 days, two months at the latest. And I'll be going to Cairo for, uh, and once I'm in Cairo, I'll spend 30 days in Cairo. Then I won't be coming back to the United States. I'll be going to Jordan for 30 more days. And as I go, I will be having the money, your money will be reinvested. Not sure your, your money. Your money is gonna be immediately divided. Whatever money I take in from people is immediately divided. But at the same time, it's equally that the money given to you is equally dispersed between all accounts. Uh, I have a duplicate God's coin with the same date time of every God's coin and that God's coin will uh, that comes to me is used to back up the God's coin that you have and when I get that duplicate God's coin <clears throat> and I, that, in other words I, I have the duplicate amount of money from that purchase, always with me. It's never being spent. Sure, I'm giving you God's coin, but I got the money in my account to give it back to you the next day if you want it. When you keep that account and give me the, the I can I have that much money to invest. When I get to Cairo, the internet company that's even bigger than Verizon is called Orange Internet. I will be making the commercials through Orange Internet. Anybody can see those commercials if they go to Orange Internet in in uh, in Egypt and just look under Orange Internet and think the commercials are great. Even though they're in Saudi Arabia, they are the funniest videos and the best videos I ever saw. The company is bigger than Verizon. Their company. And they will be making the videos on them to pass out God's coin for the same way I did here, except for they will already be prepared because on the, what's going to happen on the 16th day of November is basically the banks will, won't be, they won't be able to honor any transaction would be like a, a, a run on the banks, again, like the Great Depression. The only thing is, God's coin is available to you for the asking. Whatever you have right then. You'll be losing uh, $50,000 every second. That goes for Jeff Bezos, that goes for Bill Gates, that goes for Satoshi Nakamoto and Donald Trump. You guys will lose. Jeff Bezos will, uh, will watch it fall from he, him being a, a multi-billionaire of $202 billion down to, to a barely a millionaire. But at the same time, I'm going to increase there. <clears throat> if they buy, buy into it, and listen to what I tell them to do. Bill Gates, you will... Ha uh, uh, you're the only one I'll allow to invest in a Jordan Dinar. And your $186 billion will be redistributed to everybody in um, Jordan and Palestine. This immediately will stop the war. This immediately will stop the war. And Bill Gates, you're not a, you're not a favor of God. But once you have your money in, in God's coin, which you're going to have your money as you invest in the dinar, 
that dinar, the dinar exchange is going to be to God's coin. One on one. One dinar to one to one uh, God's coin. The exchange rate. That's the way. The only way you can get your money out of America. But you're also subject to behaving. You're subject to behaving. You come under suspicion or anything or investigation, we'll have investigators come, not the FBI, CIA, or anybody like that. They're, 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 they're almost history, those agencies. But private investigators will find anything on you that's suspended. Your God Squad account will be a Senate pending investigation. Investigators will uh, take out of your funds the monies to investigate for their investigation. Why did they tell you to go home and sit on your hands? Not involved in anything. Same with every politician. You're going to tell them to go home if you come under suspicion of anything. You won't be able to do anything, communicate, uh, uh, write, talk to anybody without somebody knowing everything that you are doing because you're under investigation. And then when you, uh, when and if you ever prove yourself free, you'll be reimbursed. And you'll also receive compensation. But if you have, but if they got anything on you, you're gonna lose, you risk losing part or all of your God's coin. That's a way to keep you in check. When I deal with the world and I deal with China and I deal with North Korea and I deal with anybody, it's the same way. You can live, spend freely. God has no restrictions on your spending. Party, invest, invent, use it or lose it. You have 20 years to use it or lose it. Not the best deal in the world, but it's, it's, a, it's the only deal that you're gonna have. This is what this is gonna be all about. And the only way you're going to get it is through God's coin, uh, God's website, God's uh, web store to buy God's coin. Bitcoin can't stand it. They've only had 20 B million people invest in, God, uh, in God's uh, Bitcoin so far. They can't even they can't hold a candle to the potential of God's coin has to reach everybody in this world. And I've already got a big foothold in Africa, which 1.4 billion people. So those in America is 240 million people. I expect to have 240 million accounts in America. Nobody holding back. Nobody's going to take away, uh, want to take uh, lose free money, or lose any money. So do it before November the uh, uh, before November the 16th. Exchange, get as many God's coins you get preparing for the thing, uh, preparing for it. Don't don't worry about your house. Don't worry about your car. Don't it, it, anything like that. Just get your money, the immediate money that you can buy as many God's coins as you can. You can borrow against anything you have too, and buy God's coin. That's fine because you're going to be able to immediately once you once you. Uh, the rate goes to fifty thousand dollars per God's coin. You're going to be able to to pay off your house. You're going to be able to pay off your cars. You pay off all your debts. In fact, that's what I'm going to be doing with the, with my uh, duplicate God's coin. I will have uh, two hundred and forty million God's coin times fifty thousand dollars. Turns into twenty four. The population in the United States, 240 million people times $50,000 will be $24 trillion. And I'm sure I'm not just going to have two God's coins. That's 480 uh, million, million uh, God's coins out, uh, out there by, by your $2 purchase. I'll have more. So I will use that to pay off the national debt. I'm simply going to pay off the $34 trillion national debt so that America does no longer have any debt at all. 
everything's going is already on my website it's been talked about everything's there you just don't know who me and you haven't heard this before but this is no joke it's going to cost you two year two dollars to find out and this this uh i will send this uh recording here in florence to the wb uh to tv 15 news tv 13 news and I'll send it um, on on Facebook. I mean, it's here, uh, what uh, thing? But this is on YouTube, and it's shooting. Somebody's gonna gonna get this, and word of mouth is gonna get has to get there by thing. If no, if, if not, then that proves the point that this world is not ready for God to come back to this world and build heaven on earth. It's simply left to those who want to destroy it. Those that want to destroy it, they've already made a pill. You'll hear about it in my things. The pill that they've already, has already been, been produced, that people can die overnight if they're um, overcome with depression or pain or suffering and just don't want, want any more to, to, to be inside this game anymore. They can die overnight. They take the pill, they go to sleep. Simple as that. It's already been produced. Right now, that same pill is under the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA's, for approval so it could be mass marketed in the United States. I don't know. And I'm sure that the people that want, want this pill out there do not want to make it expensive either. They would probably want to make it as cheap as aspirin, baby aspirin. Because they, they, they want to thin this world out. I'm thinking right now because God's talking to me. He says to tell you, God wants me to tell you, that, he, that 20 years ago, Bill Gates made a comment. And God had me watch that comment. That's why I'm able to tell you about it. I saw this comment in some kind of video, whether it was on TV or a podcast or whatever it was 20 years ago. And Bill Gates said, nobody needs to live past 50 years old. So I know he's involved with this. These people that want to play God and been playing God and they've been creating the wars and they could... You know, the, the governments, you, th you think the government's uh, been doing everybody a favor or religion's been doing everybody a favor? The governments, during the last administration, former administration, created Antifa. The same generation that started Hezbollah, Hamas. Before then, it was Al-Qaeda. Obama administration created ISIS. All these things were created. Antifa was created. The chaos that came to the United States was created to intend on the, the United States to get in such a mess that they would declare martial law under Hillary Clinton and to collect everybody's guns except for the criminals. Then NATO would come in and clean up and look like the heroes. They're all part of it. Who do you think's been going into Africa trying to rob the Congo of its cobalt, stirring up so many trouble between all the people in the uh, countries in Africa? When the aid goes there, the food goes there, the anything goes there, the military immediately is taking it first. The food goes there. Resources, medicines, provisions go there. The military is never, it never gets to the people. The average income of the people in, in, in Africa, all the people in Africa, is $1.25 a, a day. A family with four incomes can't even make five dollars you know that's what they live off of every day 
and in Burundi, the, 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 that's half, half of that. It's more like 80 cents a day, less than half of that per person. So what I'm trying to say is the world has been blind, but they, now it's got a chance to understand. It's only the God in me that's in favor of building heaven on earth. We've, there's a cold war going on between God and this world and human beings because we created by free will. It's never supposed to be free will. I was baptized in a free will Baptist church like it's a bragging thing. No, we don't have free will. We never had free will. It's supposed to be we do God's will. The Lord's Prayer says, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Nothing was built for our pleasure, not the animals as written in the New Genesis by the Roman Catholic Church. The New Genesis says everything was created for our, their pleasure. No, it wasn't. We were supposed to be caretakers of this world. We let ourselves go wild by claiming free will. We could do whatever we daggum want. We don't want nothing from you. And we, animals too went wild. God, God can't do anything to us. Why can't God harm us like he did in the old times? Because he figured it out. We hold God hostage within ourselves. We hold our families hostage within our DNA. Our DNA are living. Because you can tell by the Lord's Prayer that will be done as it is in heaven. Our, in our DNA is heaven. That's where you return the day you die. When somebody points a bullet to your head and fires it, before that bullet ever hits you, strikes you, you God will already have left you, your body. If he wants, he has no more purpose for you. He, he'll leave you uh, before that bullet strikes you. And when he does that, you'll immediately be with your family, every, all, everybody in your bloodline. You'll be meeting people that you never met before, all the way back to your ancestors. And you'll be as much alive, you know, what's like the red pill and blue pill of the matrix, but this is reality. When you die, you're gonna go into a living world with your, with your family, not friends. They have their own families, not neighbors to your family. You know that you're living in your children and your children are living in you. The same with everybody in your bloodline are living in you and you're living them. We all are immortal. I have, I can, I want to debate with every religion, the highest, the doctors, the, the, the preachers. If Billy Graham was alive today, I'd be loving to, 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 not to even debate it, to tell him. He has no, I don't even have to debate. I could show him right away. The simple question is to, for me to ask him, where's God? He wouldn't be able to tell me where God is. Where's heaven? He wouldn't be able to tell me where heaven is. You preachers that think you have a case and you're talking about God being in, in, in a, a someplace else besides yourself have no, have no uh, proof. You have, couldn't come up with possible proof. There's no, nothing in this world. I, I have proof, you're living, you're, you're talking, you're opening your mouth. You're not plugged in. You didn't just, somebody had to put uh, diesel fuel or gasoline in you to run. You're not running, you're running because of something that we don't understand, because we don't want to understand. But that's that one reason we're wanting called life. God is life. E equals MC squared means E is the energy, the energy equals men, uh, God equals MC square. God should be G equals MC square. That's what God is, he's pure energy. 
He gives you the ability to talk, walk, think. He's your, in your dreams, in your hopes, in your desires. That's the way he talks to you. And the people inside you, your family, have a say in that too. And they're the ones backing you up, making sure you get up in the morning and they're kissing you, going, uh, uh, go, uh, tucking you in when they go to sleep at night, if they want to. I got to leave this broadcast down. You have you, your instructions, that is to go to my website, buy as many God's coins as you can before November the 16th. That's a simple thing. November the 16th, you can, uh, 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 I'll have your name because you bought that, that receipt. And I'll be, uh, I'll make available to your account anyway fifty thousand dollars per God's coin. But I'll be in, uh, uh, but I'm not sticking around here to wait to receive the results. I'm going on to Cairo to, before the United States, November 16th. You can be assured that 1.14 billion people in Africa and Jordan and Palestine will have God's coin. They're not going to refuse it. And they're not going to have to go be threatened to get it. They want to get it. All they got to have is the commercials to tell them, go get it. It's ready. Just take one unit of their money, like the Jordan dinar, the Egyptian pound, or the Burundian franc, or the Congolese franc, or the uh, Central African franc, or the Mozambique metral, or the Sudan pound. And take that, just the one unit will be worth one God's coin. Go get it it's off the website. They'll all go. Okay, I'm going to leave you with that. Good night.